My Little Nuts reinvents fantasy football. Download the app now via the link in the description box below. Welcome to the Game Week 26 team review. It was frustrating to leave Nick Pope's 5 point return on the bench, especially in a generally low scoring game week, but with an easier fixture on paper, Adrian got the nod between the sticks. West Ham's poor run of defensive form continued as the Hammers shipped 3 goals to Brighton, with 2 of the goals coming from big chances. Manchester United have kept the only clean sheet so far in game week 26, but Phil Jones wasn't part of the squad for that 2-0 win over Huddersfield, with some reports suggesting his absence was due to illness. Ben Mee will come in for him at the final update, but it was just a one point return from the Burnley defender after he was booked against Man City. Nicolas Otamendi was heading for a clean sheet with two bonus points until Goodmanson's late strike saw Burnley earn a point against the league leaders. Sean Dyche's men are a strong team to play, especially at home, but Man City dropping points in the game was still a surprise. Completing the defence was Craig Dawson, who came in to replace the injured Andreas Christensen for Game Week 26. West Brom had kept clean sheets in two of their last three home games, ahead of their meeting with Southampton, but conceded three times, though only one of the goals came from a big chance. The Baggies scored first from an early corner, but it was Dawson's teammate Ahmed Hagazi who headed in on this occasion. Raheem Sterling and Jesse Lingard failed to produce attacking returns, but the pair did register some strong underlying numbers, each taking two efforts on target. The Man City midfielder missed two big chances against Burnley, and it just wasn't his day in the end, despite a generally consistent season from him on the whole. For Lingard, however, that's his fourth consecutive blank, and he may face a struggle to keep himself in the team, with Pogba and Martial both pushing to reclaim their places. Jordan Shaqiri had been putting in some good underlying numbers, and those became points this week, after his early strike against Bournemouth. The Stoke midfielder took two efforts on target and provided three attempted assists. Finally, in midfield, it was an impressive performance from Mohamed Salah, with the Liverpool man scoring both of his team's goals during the draw with Spurs. The opening goal was a bit of a gift from Eric Dyer, but Salah's finish was clinical and confident, and it was a moment of individual brilliance from the Egyptian on the second goal. Failing to give the captain's arm man to Salah proved costly, and it was even more frustrating given how close a call it was between him and Aguero once again this week. We expected a tough game from Burnley, but still trusted the league leaders to find a way to get the win, and with the form Sergio Aguero had been in, scoring four times in the previous two games, the Argentine was a sensible captain on paper. He took three efforts at goal with one hitting the target, and produced three attempted assists, one of which was a big chance created to Raheem Sterling, who really should have scored. Harry Kane had two chances to score from the spot against Liverpool, but his first effort was saved, giving the Spurs man a return of four points. He had three big chances and three shots on target during the game. Bournemouth's Callum Wilson came in as a second transfer for Game Week 26, ironically replacing the out-of-form Dominic Calvert-Lewin, who scored off the bench for Everton this week. Wilson was unable to score, but had chances during Bournemouth's win over Stoke, firing two of his three efforts on target. There is one more game to play in Game Week 26, as Chelsea travel to Watford on Monday night, but as things stand, a score of 43-4 minus has seen a drop in rank to 27k. That's likely to fall even further down after the Chelsea game, especially if the popular Marcus Alonso and Eden Hazard make their mark. My Little Nuts reinvents fantasy football. Take on your mates in a head-to-head -head mini league, featuring a draft-style transfer window. Goals win games, whether it's a real-life goal or a virtual My Little Nuts goal which are based on player ratings. It's free to sign up, and you can start a league at any point in the season. Download the app now via the link in the description box below.